The story that started it all was this. Supposedly, an Air Force sergeant strapped a JATO, or jet-assisted takeoff unit, to a 67 Chevy Impala. On ignition, the car got up to a scorching 300 miles an hour when it hit a bump in the road. Launched into the air, he flew for one and a half miles until the side of a mountain brought his journey and himself to an end. Before sending their cherry upholstery into the clouds, the guys need to conduct some tests. So Adam's going to make exact reproductions of Holly to scale. First, Adam pays a visit to our computer geek, Chris. I need to use Jamie's laser scanner to scan that and make it about two and a half feet long. OK. Chris scans each of its surfaces with a laser and creates a 3D graphic. Dude, look at that. Wow. Then he transfers the information to a CNC machine, a computer-controlled mill, and inserts a block of sturdy foam. Dude. Wow. The CNC is one fine whittler. That is so awesome. Next, it's time for a ride in the vacuum form. My foam master is ready to mold. Uh, this is a piece of plastic. When it heats up under this heater, I will pull it down over the foam buck, and that will create my master pattern for the Impala bodies. That is lovely. Look at that. Now that's one hot looking car. Adam makes multiple molds. I always like to vacuum form extra things when I'm going, because they're fun. Then Jess and Dennis do some custom detailing. Rocketry expert Eric is in charge of getting things all fired up. While Adam preps the car, Jamie gets to work measuring and setting up a ramp. Looks like a ramp to me. So how's the test going to run? At the go signal, I'm going to start the car towards the ramp. When it's about three quarters of the way towards the ramp, Eric will press launch. The car plus the rockets are going to take off, and uh, well, if everything goes right, they're going to fly over a thousand feet. Now to see if the ramp will give the guys the lift off they're looking for. Okay, in three, two, one. That didn't go the way I expected, really. To try and eliminate the weirdness, Adam reconfigures the chassis. So instead of being on top of the car, the rockets will sit on the back. They're also going to increase the amount of propulsion. We just used an F motor. This time, let's use a K motor. It's 10 times the thrust. We'll get that car to fly. On their scale model Chevy, these rockets are the equivalent of a super-sized 10,000 pounds of thrust. Three. T-minus three, three seconds and counting. One, go. This time the Impala launches over the ramp and flies into the stratosphere. Sort of. Let's get down there with the fire extinguisher. The trail of burn marks across the floor and all the way out the door is just what they were hoping for. Ah, there it is. There's your problem. We lost the front end. Putting the rocket on the center line of the car is clearly the way to go. It gave us a marked improvement on this flight. We also gave it a considerably more power, and we got a nice, clean trajectory off the ramp. I think that's what we need to do on the full-size car. We're good to go.